Hi guys again. Now this time we're going to create a 20 ounce tapered mug template with embedded artwork object for sublimation. Now you've perhaps seen the other two, a 10 ounce I think it was, or a 12 ounce, a 17 ounce. Now we've got a 20 ounce tapered mug template with embedded artwork for sublimation. Too easy. It looks very much the same, but don't be confused because the measurements are different. And here we go. Begin a new document. Set the page width to the following. 1026.6 pixels and the height of 464 pixels. Doesn't matter what size sheet you start with because that's what you're going to end up with. It's a transparent background, which is always best in this case, even though we're going to put white over it. Now to see that effect to its best, make the document transparent. But save your document and give it a different name. Of course, don't want it getting mixed up with the previous ones. Next, place a white rectangle over the canvas. Make sure it's exactly the same size. 255, 255 and 255. You can remove it later or hide it. But remember, even if you leave it there, white doesn't normally print. So even if you're, you've got it on a, on, a, on a printing device, if it's white, it won't print anyway. Because white doesn't print, does it? Now we need to place some guides exactly in the right place on the canvas. It looks the same, hmm, but different to the other ones. Let's look at them in detail. Bring up the Guide Manager and enter these guides exactly. You can see them there. The horizontal guides. Zero, well that's right on the top. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, eight, four point nine and four, six, four. And the verticals is only three, hundred and seventy two, five hundred and fourteen point three and eight hundred and fifty four point nine. Um, Affinity will probably round those numbers to something slightly different, but if you've entered those numbers there exactly, those entered numbers are what will be in the system, and that will work. And your canvas will look like this. And currently, you have one layer, same as the other ones. Now, here we go, around the mountain again. Now, for the tricky bit, we need to draw in the outline of the tapered mug. And for this, we use the pen tool. So select the pen tool on the left, even though I've misspelled it there. Set the stroke to 2 pixels. Doesn't need to be any thicker in this case. Now the colour's black. Place the first point on the left and connect all the points in one continuous line from start to finish. Place point, hold the shift, that gives you an exact straight line across there, and click. Place the point, hold shift key and click. Now, what Affinity does will place some of those points off the canvas for some strange reason. But that's alright, just zoom out a little bit so you can see all the points and drag them into place where they have to be. And where you see them there is where they have to be and it must be one continuous line. If you draw a line across the top, then draw a line down the side, then draw a line across the bottom, then draw a line up the left hand side, You'll have one, two, three, four separate curves showing in the layer and your image embedding or masking won't work. It has to be one continuous line. Okay? Now, using the node tool, not the pen tool, using the node tool, select the exact center of the top line and you'll see the green and red crosshairs appear when you do that. It helps if you have snapping on, of course and draw it up to the top. Do the same with the bottom line. Exact centre, draw it up to that bottom guideline. And your end result will look like this. Note your layers display now. You can see you've got one layer there with one curve on it. Well that's all the lines right around. That's your shape. Now we're ready to add our images. You can add a sing single image or you can add an embedded image. Let's do both so you can see what happens. Select the image that you want to put in the latte mug and place it as the top layer. Then drag it until the blue bar across the layer panel is halfway down and it'll slightly offset to the right. 
then let go of the mouse. And the curve will mask the image, as you can see there. Horses all over it. Very nice. Select the curve layer, that's the top one, and on the stroke option, set the style to none. The outline then disappears. The curve line disappears. Because you don't want that drawing on the mug. I mean, you might do, but in this case, you don't want it there. All you want is the horses. You can also unselect the white rectangle on the bottom, and that will make it a transparent image again. Now, we've got a completely different image here because I want to show you something. Obviously, if you have horizontal lines, like the river is running horizontally across that image, and the riverbank horizontally across the image, you'll need to curve them to match. Now, that can be done best in Affinity Photo, or perhaps in some other software you may find, or already have on your system. So you need to put that image into its own file and embed it in the outline. That's usually the easiest. So that will not look good when wrapped around a tapered mug. A straight-sided mug, yes, but a tapered mug, no. So you have to modify the image. You can see also that it's an embedded file, not an image. And to edit it, double-click on the little thumbnail image. See the left there of the text? Right at the left is the little tiny thumbnail that shows the image. Double-click on that. No good double-clicking on the text. Nothing will happen. When you've done the work, put it in the embedded file and reload it into this design. Easy, and there it is. You can either do that with some degree of success in Affinity Photo or switch your image into another suitable program that can easily shape your images, such as PixelR, for example. Save it and put it into the embedding file and reload it into this design. It's easy in Affinity Photo with Mesh Warp to make that image. Now, I've got a little bit rough with it there. The right-hand side is not quite in the right place, but that's all right. We'll ignore that for the moment. But you can see it's curved. There it's not. There we go. Modified and in Affinity Photo. You got the idea? You can see that that's curved nicely around that mug now. It still could do with a little more curve because you can see the curve at the top does not match exactly the curve of the river. But you can play with that and get it right. And that's all there is to it. I don't want to go into using the Mesh Warp tool in Affinity Photo in this uh, tutorial. This is all about getting the sizes right and making that curve. If you put something in there like flowers or random patterns, you don't have to worry about curving the image. It will fall into place anyway. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Click on the thumbs up to like. I really appreciate it.